And welcome back. Railway company Norfolk Southern is under growing scrutiny after another train derailment in Ohio. Officials stressing no hazardous materials were being transported and that no one was injured. But this latest incident occurring just over a month after one of its trains derailed in East Palestine, where a toxic cleanup is still underway. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. Today, railway company Norfolk Southern announcing new plans to immediately enhance the safety of its operations after its second major derailment in just over a month. The NTSB did send some members today. Uh, they've arrived, I believe, just a few hours ago, so we will be working with them to investigate the incident. Dramatic dash cam video shows the moment a Norfolk Southern cargo train derailed in Springfield, Ohio, Saturday, sending 28 cars careening off the tracks. And I hear a loud bang, and I looked up, and there's all kinds of debris and metal shoot out from under the train cars. Officials quickly stressed the train was not carrying toxic material and no one was injured, making clear this derailment was different from the one in East Palestine, which resulted in an explosion and evacuation and where toxic cleanup is still underway. Results of independent air testing in East Palestine found elevated levels of acrolein, which can cause skin, respiratory and mucous membrane irritation. The state health department saying the most common symptoms residents are reporting are headaches, anxiety, coughing and fatigue. We ended up having to go to the hospital because my my chest was hurting so bad that I was kind of getting like heart scared. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown looking to require rail companies to increase inspections, mandate two person crews and notify local officials if they're transporting hazardous materials. The railroad's got a lot of questions they've got to answer and they really haven't done it very well yet. Norfolk Southern now announcing a six point plan to improve safety, which includes enhancing real time warnings to crews and boosting train braking capabilities. The rail line's new plan comes just days before a Senate hearing on Thursday about the toxic East Palestine crash. CEO Alan Shaw is scheduled to testify. M1, ABC News, Washington.